Hi, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to use Watcher to drive third-party synth and then to record that output. Okay, for we're going to start from scratch and we're going to create a music mix manual which comes up with an untitled one. So we're going to add in a player filter swirl here. If we play that, this is what you get out of the box with that one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a couple of synths for this. We're going to use analog X, okay, and we're going to use thumb jam. They're both for different purposes. Okay, that's a string. So what we're going to do now is, as we saw, if we play that like this, then that plays through the internal synth. If we now go into settings and turn off that synth, if we play, we should hear nothing because it's not using the internal synth. We'll stop that. If we go into MIDI output devices and select core MIDI here now, and if we press play, what we should be getting is that voice playing through. So this this voice here playing through the analog X synth, which it was. So let's come back to Watcher. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add another uh, template. Before I do that, I'm just going to turn the synth back on again here. So if we play now, you should hear both the MIDI synth and there you are. You can hear the intermorphic sound engine playing at the same time as the MIDI synth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add another template here and I'm going to add s Ambience's Strings 1. Okay, we can hear the strings. Okay, so we've loaded that. Now if we play that, we should hear both the two synths, internal and external, plus the strings. And we do. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the ISC again. We're going to com come back to the mix and if we press play what you see is the ambient strings play through one two and three so we should hear everything playing through that other synth because it's set up to play in omni mode so basically there you are you're hearing all the strings and so forth playing through that now because I've set up thumb jam to play with MIDI on uh, we've got network session high dome ports, yes, and we've got watcher set up to play on channel four. The reason for doing that is when I go into watcher, uh, it's very easy to assign um, generators to different MIDI channels. We're just going to top and drag, and we're going to put them all onto MIDI channel four. And if we now play, you hear the strings coming from Thumb Jam. Okay. So that's all good so far. So basically we're using external synths to do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up audio bus. I'm going to clear out the session just to make sure it's all cleared. And the idea for doing this is I want to record the output and I'm going to use audio share to record it. So input is analog synth X and thumb jam and I'm adding watcher because it allows us to get to the app to uh, basically stop and start it. Now for the output for this I'm adding audio share which will take a second to be added I'm also adding audio share to the output of thumb jam. Now if we go into the mixer we can set the various levels. So if we were to go into Watcher now and to press play, we should, and if we go into Audio Share here, which is set up as the output, if we set it to record but put the monitor on, we should hear that. So I can change the levels. Okay, like so. Now what I want to do in Watcher is I actually want to go into this voice here and I want to add 
some chords to make the voice thicker. So if we go into chords, if I set the depth to say three, we should hear the lead voice now start playing chords. Or the text to music part. There you go. You can now hear the chords. That's pretty good. So if we go back to audio share now, we can record it like basically record it now if you wanted to. I'll stop, so that's made one recording. Well, if I go back to Watcher, if I stop that, and if I then go back to Audio Share and record, go back to Watcher, press play. Okay, let's say we've just decided to capture a few seconds there. I'll stop that. Go back to audio share. Stop that. We press it here. Then we should find we've recorded it. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. So it was as easy as that to set up. And that's basically how you do it. Thanks for listening.